and I would just kind of do my nails, sound like a typewriter to me. And uh, so I would do work in nine to five. Can you hear that? I got my little mic. <laughs> so anyway, that's how it all started. I would just you can do that with your nails. I wonder what you could do with those boobs, honey. Dolly <laughs> Parton is not only a good sport, clearly, but she's also a country music superstar and pop culture icon who was just nominated for two new Grammys. Now she's putting a new spin on some of her biggest hits in the Netflix series Heartstrings. Please welcome our friend, the fabulous Dolly Parton. <laughs> You're here. Well, yeah, so I'm happy not. to have you here. We look pretty good in that little clip. Pretty good, right? <laughs> yeah. That, that was genius. Nice, right? I, Ten years I, ago. I hadn't seen that. that, that well, that's you know what? You yeah, I still that. do that. The, yeah. You have to have acrylic nails, though. You can't do that with just any no. nails. But it does make a sound. Yeah. You know, that's what we... I'm still doing it all the time. Working <laughs> none to five. Yeah. She writes that's great genius. music. That's, that's, oh, that's I don't know about gift. that. But, that's a gift. But when you... I, actually, when I we were doing nine to five, I didn't. I couldn't have my guitar all the time on the yeah. set. So I would just look around at things was, that was happening, and I thought this sounded like a typewriter. So every day I'd write a little bit of something yeah. on that song with that. That's a anyway, how day. are you, ladies? Good. 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 And you know, speaking of nine to five, it's the, it's the 40th anniversary of the movie. Yes, it's coming My out. God, time flew. Wow. Huh? I know it's amazing. Oh, it's, it's a cliche, but it's really true. Everything goes for fast at a certain age. Um, but here's the thing, you know. With oh, the Mr. Hart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> government. With the Me Too movement that just we just went through, we're going through, it's even more relevant that now than it was then, don't you think? I yeah. do think so. Yeah. I think it's amazing. At that time, you know, we were really feeling like we were making a statement that really needed to be made, and we did. But of course, here we are all these many years later, still needing to do more, you know, with that, being, you know, like equal pay for equal work and that sort of thing. But uh, we had talked about possibly doing another uh, show yeah. with the, a sequel, mm -hmm. but we never could come up with anything that was as good as the first one. Uh, but we still address the problems in our own way, and all of us gals just kind of stick together and uh, yeah. just do our jobs and, and hope to be appreciated. Why for toy it. with perfection? Exactly. It's a great movie. It yeah. is a great yeah. movie. Yeah. And it yeah. Jane Fonda was in that with you, a co star and a good friend. She was on our show recently mm -hmm. talking about ways that she's trying to protest and get involved, and she has her whole life, but she's been protesting in DC on climate change. Yeah. Been, she's been arrested a, a few I, times. I know. Again, <laughs> again, I know. So I said, Jane's been arrested. I said, again? Yeah. <laughs> but you know, Jane, she's always been out protesting something all she, of her life. She enlisted a lot of her yeah. friends, her yeah. famous friends. Would you ever do something like that? No, I wouldn't get out in the streets and do it, but I kind of do, I kind of try to contribute in my own way. Yeah. I'm an entertainer and I do it a little different. Everybody's got their own way of kind of making their points and I try to do it my way and they do it theirs. So yeah. do your music. I just let them have it. Through your music? Let them have it. Through my music yeah. and through the way I live and the way I am. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I just think we all do it our own way and yeah. Jane's Jane and let her go. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I am, I think you know I'm a huge fan of and yours. I'm a fan of yours. Uh, thank you. I actually have a picture of you on my nightstand. She does. You do? Signed that does. my agent gave me when I turned 30, and I say goodnight <laughs> to you every night, so I hope that's not weird. Um, oh, it is kind of. It's a little weird. weird. Well, you have all these quotes that help weird. me through my grief about <laughs> rainbows and rain. Anyway, I'm I'm sorry if I'm creeping you out. I'll leave, and you don't no. have to see me afterward. No, I, I've heard you were a fan. I appreciate that. Uh, you are of all <laughs> things beautiful we're all in the world. all fans of Dolly, though. Not do you have a signed photo on your nightstand? Because I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> I just know you but, do. Uh, <laughs> I know. But our country is so divided right now, and you are one of the few people who appeals to Democrats, Republicans, Evangelicals, the LGBTQ community. Everyone loves you. <laughs> what is your secret? And what do you think it is about your message that makes everybody in America love well, you? Well, I just love everybody. I just try to find the God light in people, and I try to play to that. I try not to be judgmental because I grew up very spiritual mm -hmm. in a church. My grandpa was a preacher, and I just think we should just love each other and not try to judge and find the good in us and kind of just pray for the bad and just accept people as, as they are. Yeah. So, yeah. I just love people. 
That was Jesus' preaching anyway, right? <laughs> I was the last time you were here, we were talking about, I went to Pigeon Forge, and I uh, was visiting your place over yes, there. Yes, and yeah, you can come again. Thank you, I Got may. Our Christmas lights up in Dollywood now. Yeah. So it's, a fun, it's a fun place. It's it a fun place. a fun place. I'm proud of it.